Hi guys, it's me, Joseph Lindsay again, and for this video, I decided to take a little bit of a break from talking about like, movies and books that I like for my birthday month, and instead, I decided to, you know, watch the actual debate, the first presidential debate between President Biden and former President Donald Trump. And um, without further ado, I will I will give you the, the reaction to that to, for the fate of the United States and by the way the world. So this is built up pretty big to be like one of wrestling events or when I'm um, when I'm um, you know, foosball event like this. Like when two guys come together like a this is Biden, this is Trump. And they would do like a you know, a classroom like a anyway um it was like kinda of weird weird because you know I was expecting for Trump to be an abducted like it was in one of its other debates on stage in which he wouldn't let the other guy talk to the life of him. He kept like, interrupting him and, you know, a well, little like a little child. But thank God he didn't do that this time. Probably because Jake Tapper wouldn't let him do it because he had the, um, authority to um, silence them whenever they turn it up. Now, um, this, this can be handy for both sides. They were both fine people on both sides. But, um, I noticed that it had more, more Trump than Biden. That he had to be quieted down. You know, he had to be cut off. And, um, yeah, let me just say that this is a, this is a debate to uh, a guy that told the truth, someone who was trying to be honest with you, and someone who was um, trying to be ni nice to you and stuff, and trying to improve, improve the country. And then on the other side was a wolf and fly. And I, I think if you know who I who, I am and who I speak for, you could definitely say who I thought was the movie slave. And it says with orange. Because besides the, the fact that he said, my name is Donald Trump, I don't believe what he said. And even then, it was kind of like um, very um, sketchy at the head. True name being Donald Trump. Donald J. Trump, I should say. It was so obvious that he was so morbid, a liar. I, I believe that that person told me that they made a fortune on crypto coin more than I do Donald, Donald Trump, number four or five. The, the loser in the last election. Which was very funny that they had to, um, to drag that into uh, him that he would accept the, uh, the, um, election result in a fair and, and democratic election. Basically, it means only if he wins the election, next election cycle, which I don't think that they're gonna, um, vote for a convicted felon on. 34 counts, for 34 counts, but unfortunately, when he was making a speech, you know, make, making the beat retorts and stuff, we, we Joe Biden, he kept going the same little things over and over again, but he was playing his favorite hits on the radio. Joe Biden did strike back on a few, on a few points. Saying that you know that uh, I 
I issued it a mess and I recovered it. And he came in stuff like that. Now, to be honest with you, it was kind of, um, kind of menacing and kind of that dirty for Trump to say that. He, he's a mess and all this stuff. Not only that, but the anti family too in the debate. And apparently, Trump thinks that he won that argument, so I don't think that. But an internet base think that. But the fact is that <clears throat> whenever you have a president and you have a, um, uh, to, to, to president in a row, the, the history has shown that whatever they, whatever they start with, it's usually the fault of the previous administration. So like with Obama, he inherited a mess from um, Bush. Clinton inherited a mess from George W. Bush. And I'm sure that the same can be said, but the good thing to the economy, like Trump inherited a good economy from um, Obama. And he could done down the line from there. So to say that Donald Trump got credit for a good economy is kind of bullshit. And the fact that the one thing that COVID did right, you know, that it was good that COVID happened, was because it showed Trump's weakness in his dividends. And that one of the primary reasons why he didn't do so well at the polls in, in the election because the hints were so poorly that that the, the American people were out. Out with the I would go out with the old and go with the new. Or, I mean I would the bad and with the good. So um yeah. There was that uh Joe Biden did um, mention about the fact that um, <clears throat> that that um, when when it comes to the abortion talk, okay, no, let me let me let me just clarify before I get into this mess, okay. I am for the woman's right to choose what she does with her own body. And, and, uh, you know, I support all that whole thing. Now, when Trump was talking about, um, that everybody wants this, they don't want to fall on the states for the right to choose, the right to choose abortion or life, or whatever it was. He thinks that his, his own base Count for everybody in the country. So that's why he said everybody wants this. Everybody, conservative, conservative Republicans all want this for the state to have it. Meanwhile, that, that doesn't count for everyone in the country. And whenever you said that, whenever you said something like that, it means the people who say yes to him, that want to beat their mouthpiece. I'm, 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 I'm certainly not everybody, and I certainly don't want that for the country. I support women, I support women that want to make choices for their own sake. You know, for, um, their own, their own body, their own choices. And, uh, you know, there are certain Republicans that do feel the same way too. I'm sure that Trump probably would have a woman done to it to his family if he would give him a choice in the matter. But, again, uh, Joe Biden did hear it back to him saying that that's a bullshit lie. You, you just got, got that because three, got three Supreme Court justices that they, they lied on, on their application form. They, they said that they would Respect the presence of Ruby Wade. Yeah, that that was a big lie. That was, that was a hope. 
when they got in, in the seat, they're like, fuck you, fuck every woman in America, you know, we, we decide what we want, and we want to get rid of what we read, and, you know, I think that that's a, 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 a revenge thing for him, but I care a lot, that, that he was drugged in the mud and all that. And he take it out of women everywhere by saying, you know, repeal, repeal that law. And uh, that's what happened. That's why everyone pissed off with him and Trump. And that's why they say that Trump hates women. Which, yeah, he does hate women. You're never going to see that happen with uh, but, but President Biden. Sure, he may be a little creepy and stuff around women and stuff, but still, he's relatively harmless. It's like the loss of two evil type of thing with, with Hillary back way back when. <clears throat> and I like the way um when when Trump was talking about the U UN and Putin and all that. He was in that Putin would never do that with me. He's too afraid of me. Meanwhile, everything that man says is bullshit because Putin is a terrible is a terrible guy. He's a bad guy. He would easily mop the floor with Trump. He would um Trump would take it. And he asked for the guy if he asked to do. I don't know whether he's afraid of him revealing his, his little secrets or the fact that Putin could very easily kill him or whatever, but it's just very, very funny that he, that he says all that. And he always likes to attack everybody else for his, um, for his. Uh, methods, for Trump methods, for saying about war and stuff like that. Meanwhile, he's a dead dodger. He clicked all the people, all the war people that went into combat and lost their lives or their, um, or their limbs or whatever. And he said, they all took a sucker on losers for fighting for the country. And, uh, you know, it's funny because he never went to the, the cemetery because it, apparently he was afraid that he would get away with and all that. Um, uh, but that, like, um, he never went to the cemetery in France, in, I think, Normandy. So that, that has a lot to do, you know, because, uh, Biden went, went there. I think, I think he's old enough that I can lived through World War Two, Maybe as a baby or something. But no. I'm pretty sure that Trump was born like right after right after World War Two. So he, he gets a little bit of a pass on that on that one. But um there is one funny moment and that is when um when Biden was talking about his age, you know, Trump's age type is weak stuff. So. And you could see that he was trying to mumble something, but because the microphone was cut off on Trump, he was mumbling like like any like a little kid, like saying like, "Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm this, I'm that, and whatever." I can beat your ass. Now it's funny. He told Trump told Biden that he could die. Uh, be doing like golf and stuff, and then he won two tournaments by himself. You know, at, at his, the golf course. Number one, if you think about it, it's some damn golf tournament as a private LinkedIn went on. So, he probably, he probably cheated his way to get to the top. And number two, <clears throat> it's only a golf game. You really need to be really athletic to play golf. All you do is just strike the ball, sit in the cart. Rock the ball, sit in the cart. 
like a bowl and guess what you sit in the car again. Well, it's like there. How I'm alive is like this he is. But I like the way Biden took him to, uh, I guess, a boxing match or something. I would pay money for that. I would pay money for that so much. I think that Biden could definitely be Trump in that. And it's, it's like, um, it was funny because he said he passed the time to test. Trump did. He passed two. And it was funny. It's like, but the test was so easy. And that's so, uh, the dementia, measure dementia, find out about dementia and stuff. So, like, circle the bunny rabbit. You get a gold star. Wait, what's your name? You get another gold star. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Name, name, pipe, name, call these five words. Oh boy, you get a triple gold star. You ate the test. And I, I would like to see Biden do that. It was so hard. It was so this and so that. Well, it did so smart. Why don't you, why don't you call the SAT marks? You know, why don't you call your college or your professors and tell them to, to, to give up your grades? No, because he, he's, he's got to be one of the dumbest guys in the country. <clears throat> Sad to say. After all, he didn't like the uneducated because they are his love as far as reading, writing, arithmetic, so on and so forth. <clears throat> but um, I'll tell you well there. Um, I'm, I'm just glad that Trump didn't bring a bit of war idea or his um or his dome idea. You know, building a dome around the country that would be very very bad and very infantile too. But um, I like the way up. I like the way Trump said that his, his idea about deploying everybody who is legal would ruin the economy of the country because not everyone wanted to do the, the job that Im immigrants do, like cleaning toilets, farming, and all the other stuff too. And like all the filthy, demeaning jobs that need to be done, but way people are too pretty to do it. <clears throat> that being said, it was like you were playing the way out uh, the, the answer to the question and they debated because you could tell by their face that, that they were thinking about two different things. For example, whenever it, whenever it would come to to speak about something Biden would be like, what the fuck is he talking about? That was his official language. But when Biden talked, Trump number one laughed like a little kid. And number two also did like a, he also could think to himself, how can I twist this around? How can I make me talk a lot of God to my, to my people? How can I twist it around and make it look like this guy's a joker and insane and make a mockery of this debate? And then they, they were no actual crowded in the, in the group. But I, I, I have a good feeling that if they were to allow people to watch this debate live, I'm sure that they'd probably have been like, um, go Trump, go Trump, go Trump, go Trump. Or go go by go by go by and it would it would have been just a, a big circus about some the guy saying boo we hate you boo eat a bag of shit you know that that type of thing and it would have been really uh, absurd to see the least of that of that the good thing we had. Live people there. 
but um, I, di I did enjoy the show a little bit. It was very entertaining, at least. See, Trump make up his own, his own little world there. It's very, I would love to live in the little world where everything is said gold a golden goddess where everything he always says is perfectly true, where everyone else is incompetent or stupid. And I, I would love to see, I would love to be in the world where he is perfect. You know, because that's like a fantasy, but that's like a, the never-ending story type stuff there. Or like, um, or the, fant uh, the fantasy world of, Lord of the Rings, Middle Earth, and stuff like that. So yeah, it'd be, be funny as hell to see him in, in a bit like that. <clears throat> Let's see here, um... Well, I'm gonna say something funny about Trump there. Um... Let me think here, um... <clears throat> Trump, Trump world, that's what it was. Trump world. Where everything is perfect, everything is peachy keen, everything is nice in Trump world. And, uh, he was saying that, you know, that he, that your body would blame people, not immigration, by, uh, lunatics and that you tell them rapists, criminal prisoners, and whatnot. Where's your proof? There is no proof. You know, everything that Trump says is, you know, general, general terminology, you know, this little girl said this, this one said that, that one called me sir, this one did this. Again, there's no actual names or dates or whatever, because I know that nobody's going to look up on, on that side anyway. No one's going to proof check it. No one's going to go, you know, I want, to see, I want to interview X person and get what information from them. And see if they really did, um, record, if they really did say that. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Why is it that whenever they, whenever Trump talks about people, interview people, you know, you call them beautiful. Or very gorgeous or whatever the case is. It's like he's always got to put things in perspective of what he thinks of women. Like beautiful women, beautiful this, beautiful that. Lovely women and all of itself. I mean, I'm sure that, I'm sure that the women he talks to are lovely and beautiful and all that. But what about them being smart women? What about them being good business owners? About them being uh, good um, at, at, at banking and stuff like that, uh, good educated things like that. You know, everything always got to be digital to him. And speaking of which, he said that, you know, that he, under his business, you know, everything was good and speech king. This is a man that told us in the casino. Every business he touches turns to garbage. So, the social went down the drain. Trump stakes, Trump airlines, Trump water, Trump everything, everything to do with Trump go down the shitter. Even Trump Tower will go down to, sooner or later. I mean, in Trump's world, the only thing, the only people allowed in there are beautiful people. Now, what about, what about the not so pretty people? What, what about people who are, um, I, I don't want to say I'm handsome or anything, but what about people like me, what about people with disabilities or are deformed or whatever, or have speech impediments? 
they have cloth that according to Trump is teach that it good than some world. No, he's, he very famously said, get him out of here when he talked to a disabled veteran and something like that. Well, well fuck you. He said this country more than you did, that idiot. And, uh, you know, the tax cuts, you know, when the tax cuts happen, you can't, can't bring them back. You can't say, I'm going to I'm gonna give more tax to these people. You know, I'm going to take the money away from them. It doesn't look like that. That's why Biden never gave tax, took them back. And also, is that, um, <clears throat> these tariffs on um, products and stuff, you know, from other countries, especially China, that will bankrupt everybody, because we, we repeat the explanation. Let's say this, let's say this toy helmet called a, a dollar to get to buy. If he increases the tax on, on this, then it'll be to die more. So then with the die more, you could have bought other stuff too. And that, uh, you know, we, 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 we'll pay that. Not, not them, not the company that make this stuff. But uh, he doesn't understand that. He doesn't understand much of anything. He's, he's lied so many times to himself that he's, he's lied so many times to you people that he just doesn't believe himself too. Tags don't work, work like that. Tests don't work like that. We repay it. Not anybody else. Not, not people who make the stuff. Um, from history, you know, whenever, whenever it's in, it's in England, where it's terrifying, like tea or something, it'd be like a minor tea tax. Like one or two pennies worth. But we have to pay it without representation. Kind of like Trump would to have us, us pay extra something that that we we don't have we don't we should not have to pay for it. you know pay extra for it. we we tried that once and it you know, to be a disaster for us you know very very bad for the economy so yeah now. When you when you vote in November in the election for two thousand twenty four, you got two choices. You either got this, of course, or or you got this. Not quite the melody. I'm vote for this because I like I like Grandpa Joe. But still, you know, yeah, you have a choice in the matter. You will always have a choice. Now, I have a feeling that if Trump were to get yelled again, he ain't going away. So it won't be a decay forever and ever and ever. So it's the days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both of them are old, and both of them are. He had this in your moment. But I believe that your body is more, more or less like a natural, um, intelligent natural senior moment. Whereas Trump will probably have dementia because of its poor diet and exercise program. Me being that um, he ate junk, he eats junk, junk food and garbage stuff for a record amount of time. <sighs> so yeah, I thank you for watching my video on the debate, the first presidential debate for 2004.
and um <clears throat> oh if you like what you see here and want to see more me and my videos you like 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 comment share and subscribe to my channel also then um <clears throat> you can uh, Call me or text me at 631-707-3707. My Twitter is P. Nelson Pro, and that's actually if you prefer it. P. Nelson Pro. And also, you can get my email address at jjsviewingchelp at gmail.com. So, remember, guys. I salute anyone that want to like these beats of politics in general. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything about a happy face or not. Or not. Well, you know, you can either vote for a good guy or a bad guy in, in this. I ain't gonna change your mind. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I just can't wait to see it. His VA, his VP pick, Trump's VIP, VP pick. So, um, yeah. This is, this is gonna be fun, a fun, a bumpy ride for uh, the, the nation. You know, until November, which is about, let me see, July, August, September, October. About, about, about five and a half months to go. And that it's really fun. I'm oh, sorry. Four and a half months. <coughs> so yeah. Um, <coughs> I thank you for watching this video. And uh. I salute all you guys and go up to into into and peace out my brothers and sisters. And by the way, I love Trump's slogan of blacks for Trump. Meanwhile, there's no actual black people in the audience. And let me just say, I find it baffling that Asian people love Trump for some reason. I don't know why he do. I mean, he sent, he sent mobs to say that, you know, it's COVID to turn your virus and nothing that. So, it's pretty clear that he doesn't like you. So why does he always, why do they always like Trump? I don't know. So it's for Trump for women. Women mm -hmm, for Trump. He hates women. Okay, he doesn't like women at all. Very clearly, when he, when he got rid of Ruby Wade. But yet, some women that you like him, I don't know why, but they do. They say that women shouldn't have the right to vote, and women shouldn't hold high office. That just confused me. I mean, I shouldn't try to, to justify it. It would make my brain hurt a lot. But that, that's the thing. That, that's so weird to me. You, you understand why white men like Trump, they did like the, the, the patriarchy, etc., etc., but still, Asians and um, women did like him for some reason. I, I have no idea. Maybe you guys can answer that for me. Maybe a lot of guys. And uh, the next video I promise I'll show ya something else my birthday month. See ya.